Welcome to lesson 6.9. Uh, the essential question in 6.9 is how can the strategy work backwards help you solve a problem with adding and subtracting fractions? Let's take a look at what we are doing today. Here's a, an example. We have uh, from a board of 8 feet in length, uh, Emmett cut two 2 and 1 thirds foot bookshelves. And what we need to do is we need to figure out how much is remaining, how much is left. What we were doing today is we were taking pictures to help us illustrate uh, what's happening here. So what I would do here is I would take uh, the 8 feet in length of the board and represent that with my line here. And now what happens is with this 8 feet of board, uh, Emmett is cutting two 2 and 1 thirds uh, foot of bookshelves. So I'm going to take one slice of this eight feet and I'm going to say that's equivalent to two and one thirds. But I know Emmett didn't cut just one two and one thirds foot uh, piece. He cut another one also. So this is going to represent another two and one thirds. All right. Now what I need to do is I need to figure out how much total was cut off first. And then what I need to do is I need to figure out how much is left right here. Well in order to figure out how much was cut off what I would do is I would take the two and one-third and combine it with the other two and one-third. I would add them together to figure out how much was cut off. So I would take two and one-third and I would add two and one-third to that and I would be left with four and two-thirds. Now that means the length from this point here to this point here is four and two-thirds. Well, if the length of the entire board when it started was eight feet, and this distance right here is four and two-thirds feet, what I need to do is I need to find the difference between those two amounts, how much is left. And in order to do that, I would take my eight feet, and I would have to subtract four and two-thirds from that. So what I have here is I have 8 minus 4 and 2 thirds. Well, what I need to do is I need to rename this 8. I'm going to call this 8 a 7 and 3 thirds. 7 and 3 thirds is now equivalent to 8. But now I have a whole number and I have uh, a fraction part that I could subtract. So I could do this now 7 minus 4, I get 3. Uh, 3 minus 2 equals 1. And my remainder is still uh, a third. Therefore, uh, the distance that's left here that would be remaining would be three and one-thirds. And that would be three and one-third feet. So here's our next example. Here's our next example. We have uh, Michaela walks uh, for exercise. She wants to walk a total of six miles. On Monday she walked two and five-six miles and on Tuesday she walked one and one-thirds miles. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out how many more miles does Michaela need to walk to reach her goal. So what I'm going to do down here, uh, like I did before, I'm going to make uh, a line here to represent the six miles that she wants to walk in total. Uh, and what I'm going to do is then I'm going to break apart this six miles into what she's walked so far. So uh, I know that on Monday she walked two and five, six miles. And then on Tuesday I'm going to mark off as well because on Tuesday she walked one and one-thirds miles. All right. And what I need to do is I need to figure out once again how many more miles she needs to go to complete it. So what I would do is I would take what she has done so far and figure out how far she's walked. All right? And what I would need to do is I would need to combine them. I would need to add them together to figure out the total distance that she's walked so far. So I'll take my 2 and 5, 6 and I will add my 1 and 1 third to that. So if I take my 2 and 5, 6 and add 1 and 1 third uh, I know that 6 is going to be my common denominator 5, 6 will remain as is and 1 third will now equal 2, 6 if I add them together I know 2 plus 1 is 3 5 plus 2 
gives me the uh, 7, and I have 3 and 7, 6. I know 3 and 7, 6. I know 7, 6 is really equal to 1 and 1, 6, because 6, 6 would equal 1 whole, and then I would have 1, 6 piece that's left over. Uh, combining them together, because I also have the 3 holes here, I would get a mixed number of 4 and 1, 6. That means this distance right here, from here to here, so far Michaela has walked 4 and 1, 6 miles. Now we know she wants to go a total distance of our 6 miles here. So in order to figure out how much more she has left, I would take my 6 miles and I would subtract 4 and 1, 6 from it to figure out the difference. So I have 6 minus 4 and 1, 6. Uh, I'm going to have to rename this 6 uh, because I don't have a fraction here and I can't take 1, 6 away from, uh, from, that, from nothing that's there. So I'm going to rename the 6 like we did the other day. I'm going to rename this 5 and 6, 6 because now these denominators match. Okay, and 5 and 6, 6 is equivalent to 6. Now I could subtract and I take 5 minus 4 equals 1. 6 minus 1 equals 5. And what I'm left with is a distance of 1 and 5, 6 miles that Michaela would have to walk. And that's how we, that's how we, that's how one way we could get that answer. I am going to show you one other way we could get that same answer. Now let's just say we decided not to combine the total distance that she walked so far, uh, like we did with the first example here. Uh, let's say we want to do it like this. If we know that she wants to walk a total of six miles, uh, we could take it by each day. We could start out with our six miles that she wants to walk, and then she we, we could take this two and five six miles that she walks that first day, and we could subtract the two and five six miles from there. I would rename this as five and six six, and what I would be left with is three and one six miles that she has left after she walked the first day, the Monday of two and five six miles. And now what I could do at this point is I know she walked on that next day, on that Tuesday, I know she walked a total of one and one third. Well, what I could do at this point is I could take that three and one six and I could just subtract the next day of what she walked, which was one and one third. That's the case. I would write my equivalent fractions, uh, and I would have uh, 1 and 2 6, which I would then have to rename the top portion of this fraction. I would call this 2 and 6 6, which would equal the 3, combine it with my 1 6 here, and I would then rewrite it as 2 and 7 6. And I would now take the 2 and 7, 6 and minus the 1 and 2, 6 from that. And what I would be left with here at this point is I would be left with 1 and 5, 6, which is the same exact answer that we got before. That means the remaining distance that they would have had, that she would have had left, would be 1 and 5, 6. So that's, that's how we would use the strategy of working backwards. And like I always recommend, uh, make, make some kind of, of picture to, to help you along to figure out what to do with these, these numbers.